Welcome back to Franchise TV, the YouTube channel where I'll unbox anything. Today we're actually going to unbox two Loot Gaming Mystery Boxes. So both of these are actually from the company Loot Crate, who is now owned by the company Money Chess LLC, which is a subsidiary of the NECA company, N-E-C-A. So these are actually older loot gaming boxes that were fulfilled by Loot Crate. So these are going to have all kinds of trinkets and gadgets in it to do with gaming. And I pretty much play like three video games. I Like two video games. I play kind of. No three. I play all versions of Battlefield. I play versions of Call of Duty and Madden. So I kind of play three video games. Three franchise video games. So a lot of these and these, I won't know what they are. Uh, I... I will probably have heard of a lot of them, but I won't know what a lot of this stuff is. But with these boxes, there could be t-shirts and goodies and codes and all kinds of stuff. Koozies, drink coasters, keychains. Let's find out. First thing, first box, we got a t-shirt. We have a gray t-shirt and a lot of this stuff, probably almost everything from these two boxes, will be for sale in my eBay store directly from my eBay is down below in the description box for this video to buy any of this stuff. So here we go, first item, t-shirt. And it is, uh, oh is that Mortal Kombat? Yes, Mortal Kombat, size 3XL, loot wear exclusive, loot gaming. I haven't played Mortal Kombat for many of years, I mean years. Back when I played, I always liked uh, like Sub Zero and Scorpion. Uh, yeah, so it looks like a pretty cool, cool shirt. I'm sure if you're a fan of of uh, Mortal Kombat, you should probably love that shirt. I bet probably would. Next item. This feels like maybe some kind of an action figure or something. We have oh, well that's kind of cool. Wow, that's kind of high quality. We have a Destiny Two. Uh, Ghost Final Sundance Cade Sixes Ghost. There's a whole lot going on in that title. I've never played Destiny or Destiny 2, so I don't know what this is about. But Destiny, I know, was a very popular game when it first came out. Destiny 2, I don't know, was that was that a popular one? I don't even know. But Destiny 1, I know, was a pretty big hit. It was kind of cool. A lot of this Loot Crate stuff can actually sell for some pretty decent money. Some something like this, I wouldn't be shocked if this thing sells for like ten or fifteen dollars, you know, plus shipping on eBay. Because uh, a lot of the collectibles like this, they can go for pretty good money. There's been stuff in the past from these boxes I sold for twenty, twenty-five dollars. It's happened in the past. So even like me, if you don't even know what half the stuff is in this box, don't worry. A lot of the times you, you can actually sell this stuff and make more money back than what the box cost. So yeah, pretty cool. I don't know. I'm not going to take this out of the package because. I'm gonna sell it. So I don't wanna damage the packaging or anything, but yeah, that's kinda of cool. Don't know what it is. It's kinda of cool though. Let's see, there's not much in this box really. We have, looks like a monthly pin. It is uh, that thing. Yep, there we go. Pretty cool pin, right? Yeah. Let's see, and it looks like we got like one thing, or we got, we got two things left. Oh, we have, this says we have a, a bonus item in this. Limited edition bonus item. This says, just funky, who is, who made this, says care instructions, hand wash only. Probably like a coffee mug or something, maybe. Oh, it's a drinking glass. Well, that's pretty cool. It is Pac-Man. That's like this weird filmy film inside of the cup, like this film. If that makes any sense. Probably just from storage, I I I guess, but yeah, kind of cool. Pac-Man glass. You're into Pac-Man. You could drink out your Pac-Man glass while you play your Pac-Man. But of course, like most people, Miss Pac-Man was actually a better game. You know, personal opinion. Last item, first box. Uh, we have, looks like two 
Dark Soul 3 little promo sheets. Okay. Of course, there's no cheat sheet because Loot Crate now they're just pretty much just throwing random stuff into boxes, just fulfilling boxes. So every almost every box now, what I get in mine probably won't be the same of, as what you get in yours. That's just how it is now. While they fulfill old boxes. So let's do this other box. Let's see what is in this one. Box number two. For on top, we have a t-shirt. Very soft one. It is Shadows Hide Me Quake Champions. I think I've played that game like maybe on like PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 or something. I mean like 20 years ago. Right? Quake? It isn't Quake. Originally it like came out a long time ago or, or am I just crazy? I might be going crazy on this. But Quake, that game sounds familiar. Like I've played it, but pretty cool t-shirt. Not a bad graphic on it. Pretty cool. I'd be kind of curious to, to kind of know, but yeah, Quake. I swear Quake was like a first person shooter game. I swear it was. I, I, I could be wrong though. Next we have a Doom Eternal. Looks like some, I'm gonna keep this in the package because I'm, I'm gonna sell all this stuff. I don't want any, any of this. This is possibly like a large, super large, like a handkerchief or something to do with Doom. Of course, Doom, that first came out, I think, was it mid to late 90s it came out? I had it on like an old PC that I had a long time, like, yeah, probably late 90s. Cool game, though, when it first came out. It was revolutionary. A lot of, it made a lot of people mad, too, I remember. Okay, next we have, looks like a little arcade. Bubble wrap to protect it. So this is probably one of the more higher end collectibles it looks like. Okay, that's kind of awesome. We have a Galaga phone stand. Okay, that, honestly, that's, that's kind of cool. Doesn't look like it charges anything. But it is a Loot Crit exclusive Loot Gaming Galaga phone stand. So here on top, you have your space. You can set your phone at night. Looks like you... Actually, looks like you possibly could. There is a hole down in here where you could run your phone cord actually through here, going up through the top. So you, you could actually plug your phone in at night. Uh, do it like that. Of course, you couldn't charge it wireless or anything like that. But that's actually... That's very different, but most people, like uh, collectors or people like to display stuff, would just display this like with their gaming stuff because it's actually super cool. That's actually kind of neat. I bet you something like this, you'd probably be shocked. I bet it probably sells for 15 bucks. I mean, it's got some pretty decent value to it. I would not be surprised. That's, that's a decent seller right there. Looks like we have one item left, and it looks to be some kind of a poster. Get out without damaging it. Well, this is going to be one of those super long posters. Okay, showing the camera first. I can't even see what this actually is yet. Okay, and it's uh oh, here we go. The Elder Scrolls Online Elsewhere or something. 2019. I've never played the Elder Scrolls, but I know that is a popular game. It's a popular franchise. Never played it though, but that's pretty cool. I mean, be, I mean if you're a gamer, that'd be kind of cool thing, thing to get framed, put onto your wall, like your gaming wall or something. So that was it for the second box for the loot gaming. And I mean, it didn't really have any rhyme or reason to it. Just a whole bunch of stuff thrown into a box and shipped out to uh, sub uh, subscribers of the mystery box. Value-wise, actually wasn't, wasn't bad. T-shirt, Galaga phone stand, a Doom, uh, like a handkerchief, and then a poster. I didn't roll it tight enough, did I? Of course I didn't. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. So uh, that is the Loot Crate Loot Gaming Mystery Boxes. I have more to go through, so on this channel, keep watching. You'll see some more of these random mystery boxes published here. So stay tuned, and you'll see some more. So on this channel, you know what? 
I'll unbox anything. <laughs> <laughs>